Hi, I'm the Bomb, and in this video I'll be guiding you through the first encounter in the antechamber of Old War, Kologarn. In this video I will discuss overhead smash, eye beam, arms, raid positioning, and petrifying breath. Before I begin, I would just like to mention that this is one of the easiest bosses in Old War and can be one-shotted by any guild. Throughout the fight, Kologron will do overhead smash. This is a debuff applied to raid members that reduces their armor by 25% for 45 seconds. This debuff can stack up to 4 times. Now I will talk about eye beam, which is half the fight. Throughout the encounter, Kologron will do an attack called focused eye beam. When he does this, he will focus on someone in the raid, which will provide that person with an emote on their screen declaring he has focused his eyes on them. When this occurs, they need to begin to kite the eye beam away from themselves and the raid. This does a significant amount of nature damage every second. The eye beam does not last very long, but can be the primary reason for raid wipes. The key to defeating this boss are his left and right arms. His left arm, which is the raid's right, isn't a big deal but contributes to the difficulty in the encounter. What it does is shockwave. When it is about to do this, Kologren will yell, Oblivion. This is an AoE attack that hits everyone in the raid for 8800 to 10200 on regular and 11600 to 13400 on heroic. This can be easily healed through. The left arm should never be DPS unless it is hit by AoEs from melee. His right arm, which is the raid's left, is the primary focus for DPS throughout this fight. During this encounter, the right arm, as long as it is alive, will grab a random raid member and put them in its grip, dealing about 3500 damage per second until the player is dead or the arm has sustained 150,000 damage. On a heroic, the arm grabs three people and requires 450,000 damage to release them. Heals should be cast on the player while they are gripped. For this reason, the right arm should be killed as frequently as possible. Also, when the arm dies, it deals approximately 15-20% to 20 damage to Kologarn's overall health. When the right arm dies, it will turn into a pack of rubbles, which the off tank needs to get aggro on immediately and DPS should AoE them down. Upon defeating the right arm and the rubbles, the raid should focus on Kologarn and return to the right arm after it respawns at approximately 30 seconds. Positioning of the raid is quite important in this fight. The room isn't huge, so making the most of the space provided is necessary, namely on 25 man. The healers should situate themselves in the back of the room and run away from the other healers if the I beam is focused on them. The main tank should always be on Kologarn's body and just maintain aggro. If the main tank should die or go out of melee range of Kologarn, he will cast Petrifying Breath on the raid, which deals a massive amount of damage and also puts a debuff on the raid, increasing damage taken by 20%. While the right arm is being killed and after the rubble is dead, the off tank should act as a DPSer. The rubble should be tanked where they are spawned after the right arm is killed. Finally, the DPS should always be on the right arm when it is up, otherwise focus on Kologarn's body. At this time, I'd like to thank you for watching wish you luck on your encounter. If you have any questions regarding this boss or any other, feel free to ask unless I have not posted a video for it yet. If you'd like to add something, feel free to post a video response or leave a comment below. Thanks and see you next time.